is related to all the three, the sequence should be like this, cost price, selling price and then market price. The cost price of an article is 80 percent of the market price means 100 assume as the market price. Then what would be the cost price? 80 is it not? 20 percent discount is allowed. And after this how much discount is allowed? 15 percent discount is allowed means at what rate is sold? 85. Find the gain percent. Find the gain percent means whenever you are talking about gain, you are confined only with these two values. 80 rupees is the cost price, 85 is the selling price. For an investment of 80, the gain is 5 rupees. For an investment of 80, the gain is 5 rupees. For an investment of 100, what would be the gain? It will be more. So, more by less into 5, 5 sixteens, 4 fours, 4 twenty fives, 25 by 4 means 6.25 percent. Based on the problem, you assume 100, whether it is market price or selling price or cost price, okay. Next, last problem. is 20 percent above the cost price the marked price of an article is 20 percent above the cost price but 5 percent discount is allowed Find the profit to the seller find the profit to the seller if the marked price of the article is if the marked price of the article is rupees seven twenty. If the marked price of the article is rupees 720. Price, selling price and marked price. Cost price, selling price and marked price, what he has given here? The marked price of an article is 20 percent above the cost price means, cost price is 100 means, market price is 120. How much discount is allowed? 5 percent. 5 percent of 120 is how much? 6 rupees, 5 percent of 120, 6 rupees. So, how much is sold? 114. What are the values we have assumed here are duplicate values. Original value is given, what is given? Marked price of the article is 720, what he asked? Find the profit. See here, 120, 720 means the relation is into 6, is it not? So, into 6 means 600 should be the cost price. Into 6 means 684 should be the selling price. 720 is the market price. Profit percent he asked? Profit. See, asked only the profit, the profit is 84 rupees, the profit is 84 rupees, I have covered 
almost all the models given in the campus recruitment but uh, you want more perfection take the textbook of rs that is uh, the best available book in the market as per us my knowledge is i mostly refer rs agarwal gulat sl gulat is also very good book or uh, whatever book available on the arithmetic all the books are good take the problems of the textbook adopt these methods you will be comfortable in arithmetic okay now uh, let us take some of the campus general questions how the general questions will be given how many squares will be there on a chess board you have to think in one way for a btech graduate how many squares will be there on a chess board if the answer is 18864 will he ask the question no there will be some logic what is the logic how many squares will be there on a chess board this was the question asked in tcs and 64 also will be there in the options don't worry <laughs> see i'll tell you a small clue suppose if i take a 2 by 2 chess board 2 by 2 chess board means 1 2 3 4 and this is 5 is it not 5 yes, squares because it is a 2 by 2 chess board sum of the squares of the first two natural numbers okay suppose if i take a 3 by 3 chess board how many squares will be there on a 3 by 3 chess board means 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 because it is a 3 by 3 chess board sum of the squares of the first three natural numbers our regular chess board contains 8 by 8 therefore sum of the squares of the first eight natural numbers n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 how much it comes to 6. how much it comes to 14. so the number of squares on a regular chess board is 2 not 4 not 64 or not any other value you can't even imagine the model he will ask in this way at least four five questions some of the putty computers previous now it is uh, i get putty computers also the questions will be like this only very difficult suppose in place of squares suppose if we ask how many rectangles will be there how many rectangles will be there on chess board means rectangle means our calculus should be 1 2 3 like that 4 5 rectangles means sum of the cubes of the first 10 natural numbers n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4 n square into n plus 1 whole square by 
n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4 means n is 8. How much you got? How much you got? See, remember one point here, 1296. I will tell you one property. A rectangle whose all sides are equal is called as a square. If you take that property also into consideration, 1296. Suppose if we ask how many rectangles will be there on a chessboard in brackets without squares, means minus 204 without means. That comes to 1092. All these are previous questions. Previous questions. You should have an idea how the paper will be. Next, one more question I will give you. Try this. A 10 digit number contains this is also a this is question. A 10 digit number contains its first digit equals to TCS or other company, I do not remember, but it is given in the company. In a, a 10 digit number contains its, its first digit equal to number of ones in that number. A 10 digit number contains its first digit equals to number of ones in that number. Second digit equals to number of twos. Till the ninth digit equals to till the ninth digit equals to number of nines and the tenth digit equals to number of zeros in that number. What is the number? So I am very perfect for breaks and lunch time, huh? don't worry about that. You be comfortable. Understood. Suppose in a 10 digit number, number of ones or three means first digit equal to three. If there are no twos means second digit equal to zero. Understood? Like that the number is framed. What is the number? What procedure you adopt? you adopt. Okay, I will tell you the method. Can you tell the number? All zero? I told ten digit number. All zeros and nine will become a ten digit number. That will become a single digit nine. I will assume the 10 digit number as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I will assume the 10 digit number as starting like this. Last digit equal to number of zeros, is it not? Once I strike off this, the number of zeros will become 8. Then number of 8s will become 1. Then number of 1s will become 2. If you go on interchange, the value is 2, 1, 3, 0, 1, 3, 0, 6 you will get. First digit equal to number of 2, number of 1s. How many 1s are there? Second is it equal to number of twos. How many twos are there? One. Threes, fours, fives are not there. How many sixes are there? One. Seven, eight, nine are not there. How many zeros are there? Six. Method is this. 
you go on interchange like this, you will get the final value. At one stage, it will be stopped. You know, previous uh, coins, have you seen a uh, one paise coin? One paise coin, you have seen. You have spent, I have spent one paise coin. Two paise coin, our denomination, you remember, two paise. One paise, two paise. Three pies is also there. Three pies, five pies, ten pies, and then twenty-five. Twenty pies is also there, and then twenty-five pies, then thirty pies, fifty. Can you tender a change for one rupee? You should get exactly 50 coins, no 2 pies coins. One rupee change I want, I want 50 coins, no 2 pies coins. Don't say that 52 pies, 1 rupee, no. No 2 pies coins. What is the denomination, tell me. This is also asked, campus recruitment. One twenty-five pies coin. One? One ten pies coin. One five pies coin. Three three pies coins. One one pies. How many coins? One plus one two. 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 1, 8 coins I got. I asked to get 50 coins. 5, 0. <laughs> 1 coin of 25 pies. 1 of 5 pies. 50 of 1 pies. I want exactly 50 coins. <laughs> Twenty-five coins, three pies coins, twenty-five, seventy-five pies, one pies coins. Hmm? Very simple. And you get other denominations also. If you can try, you will get four or five combinations. You will get four or five combinations. All the bags contains one gram coins except one bag. In that bag, you have only half gram coins. But you cannot distinguish between a one gram coin and half gram coin unless otherwise you weigh. All the coins are appears to be same, of same size, same <coughs> color, even if you want same taste. All are of same size, same color and everything is same shape. All are one gram coins, but in one bag, there are half gram coins. Unless otherwise you weigh the coins, you cannot distinguish between one gram and half gram coins. You are allowed a balance and also a weight box. In how many attempts you can identify that half gram coins among all the ten bags? From the third bag, I will take three coins and so on, from the tenth bag I will take ten coins. If all are put together, I will put in a weight box. If all are one gram coins, the sum should be fifty-five grams. One plus two plus three plus four up to ten, fifty-five grams. But if you weigh, it will not show fifty-five grams. For example, if it shows fifty-two grams, 52 grams means 3 grams or less. 3 grams or less means from 6 coins, 6 half grams or less. So from which bag you have taken 6 coins, that bag will be half gram coins. So in one attempt, you can identify that half gram coins. Right? And one more problem, one more, you tell me the answer after lunch. 
this is the puzzle taken from Shakuntala Devi only. Whatever I told, uh, some of the problems from Shakuntala Devi got married twice. Got married twice. There is a man in Mumbai got married twice. What we call one wife is staying in a place called Bandra and one wife is staying near a place called Church Gate. Okay. This man is working in an office which is centrally located to both the houses. This man is working in an office central. Now, after this, half of the students will be in Bandra. The students will be in Churchgate. How she will be? And nobody will be here. Mentally, physically you will be here, but mentally, <laughs> some are in Bandra and some are in Churchgate. Come back. This fellow is working in an office which is centrally located to both the houses. This man has a peculiar habit. Whenever he comes to the local railway station, whenever, whichever train he gets first, he will go to that uh, house. Suppose he gets first, he goes to that. He don't have any timetable, three days here, three days there, one day holiday, no timetable. His habit is that. But whenever he is coming to the station, he is missing the train towards church gate. Whenever he comes to the station, don't think that every day he is coming exactly on dot. No. Sometimes if he feels going home early, he comes early to the station. Sometimes he feels going late to the house, he comes